Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Commission. Now we are discussing about a cross doll doll condensation. Cross doll doll condensation. We know that condensation means loss of uh, small varieties. We have discussed in uh, earlier classes like all doll condensation reaction. Now here cross doll doll condensation uh, means uh, the condensation between condensation between two different types of carbonyl compounds two different types of carbonyl compounds two different types of carbonyl compounds which is nothing but cross doll doll condensation so now we know that we have two types of carbonyl compounds one is aldehyde another one is ketone we know that okay now the two types of carbonyl compounds will give how many types of like probabilities okay now let us take the cross doll doll condensation it may be possible how many types now let us take the examples now here both are aldehydes both are aldehydes now the second case both are ketones now the third one is one aldehyde and another one is ketone okay now we have the three types of possibilities so now here we will take the both are aldehydes both are ketones so one is aldehyde another one is ketone now in this case again it is classified into two types so one means so we have to classify the carbonyl compounds in two types based on our aldol reactions why because so aldol reactions it requires minimum one alpha hydrogen that's why we will classify another two types one is with alpha hydrogen without alpha hydrogen now here both are aldehyde both having the alpha hydrogen both having the alpha hydrogen now it gives one type of products that means maybe it gives more than one products now it is one type one type now here one having the alpha hydrogen another one without alpha another without alpha okay now here both are ketones so in in case both are ketones ketones are weaker that means a poor electro so here the ketones are poor electrophile acceptors okay so what is it now here so ketones are poor acceptors poor nucleophile acceptors that's why uh, ketones are uh, rarely used in our laboratory reactions ketones are rarely used in laboratory reactions now here all heads and ketones okay now here all heads and ketones we have to take the two types so both having the alpha hydrogen both having the alpha hydrogen now in the second case uh, ketone having the alpha hydrogen and aldehyde uh, without alpha hydrogen without uh, alpha hydrogen now we have to five types of carbonyl compounds so five types of cross doll doll products we are observed okay now in this lecture we are discussing about a uh, only mechanism in second lecture of the cross doll doll condensation we will discuss each and every category it gives how many types of products so in case both are aldehyde how many products one is alpha with alpha another one is without alpha how many types of products now here let us take the ketones as a examples so, okay if these are uh, rarely used in laboratory synthesizers synthetic methods but we are discussed how many types of products okay doesn't matter now aldehydes and ketones here both having the alpha hydrogen now in case ketone having the alpha hydrogen or without alpha hydrogen of aldol oh, sorry aldehyde okay now let us go with uh, one example with clear cut mechanism clear cut mechanism before going to that uh, I, I would like to say one thing here cross doll doll condensation which is also called as Claisen Smith condensation Claisen Smith condensation again before going to the mechanism so we are aware about two terms we are about aware about two terms so if it is one carbonyl compound okay now here is proton now here one electrophilic center okay now here it is called the nucleophile that means uh, here proton abstraction takes place it forms the carbonyl so here our carbonyl is nucleophile carbonyl is nucleophile now here this is uh, electrophile that means carbonyl acceptor another one is carbonyl acceptor okay so before going to the reaction so generally aldehydes are more reactive than ketones aldehydes are more reactive than ketones okay again i would like to say two points two important points regarding to the cross doll doll condensation now here aldol can aldehydes are best carbonyl acceptors 
best carbonium acceptors. Now ketones are poor carbonium acceptors. Ketones are poor carbonium acceptors. So these are the three points which are very helpful to predict the cross doldal products. Now, I would like to say another point which is also very important. So, here ketones are very poor carbon ion acceptor. That's why ketones does not undergo the self condensation. Ketones does not uh, undergo the self condensation. Ketones does not undergo the self condensation. In the fifth type, Fifth type that means uh, with aldehyde having the without alpha hydrogen. That means it is maybe formaldehyde. Okay, without alpha hydrogen. So without alpha hydrogen reactions can undergo the Kanzaro Kanzaro product. But in case of we use some diluted bases, uh, that's why Kanzaro reaction does not occur. So Kanzaro reactions are slower than the cross doldal product. Kanzaro reaction slower than the cross doldal product. Cross doldal reactions okay so let us uh, take a screenshot about these three, these uh, five points which are uh, very helpful to predict the cross doldal condensation cross doldal condensation okay now let us go with uh, one example with mechanism okay here aldehydes are more reactive than ketones aldehydes are best carbonyl acceptors ketones are poor carbonyl acceptors the, due to the poor carbonyl acceptor capacity ketones cannot undergo the self condensation that means ketone does not follow the aldol products in this case with a weak, weak base with a weak base but we have discussed so many examples with ketones also okay now let us go with the mechanism now I would like to say the, take the one is ketone, another one is aldehyde. That means a third, second example. So third, first example. So now here, one is aldehyde, one is ketone, another one is aldehyde, another one is aldehyde. Now, so which type of product are produced? Which type of product are produced? Now let us take a very simple and a useful mechanism pathway. Okay. Now the first step is. So now here, so aldehydes are best carbonyl acceptors. We know that aldehydes are best carbonyl acceptors. That means it is electropositive. Okay. So if it is electropositive, other one is nucleophile. That means it forms the carbonyl. Now let us take the acetone. So which are treated with diluted base. Now we will get the one of the proton from alpha position of ketone. It forms. CH2 minus. Okay, listen carefully. CH2 minus. That means it is the carbonyl. It is the carbonyl. Okay, in the second step, so that carbonyl, I think all are familiar with the uh, carbonyl formation. Okay, so base means uh, we'll abstract the proton, then bonded two electrons will shift it towards the carbon atom. So that carbon atom to electron means it is a negative charge. So carbon ion, carbon ion. Now the next, in second step, it undergoes a nucleophilic addition reaction. It undergoes a nucleophilic addition reaction. So this carbon ion attack over there. Now generally carbon having the four valence, tetravalency. Okay. Now whenever the nucleophile attack over the carbonyl center, it becomes five. Carbon cannot vary the five number of valency. Okay. So that's why one of the five bonded, weak bonded electron will shift it towards the more electronegative atom side. So here oxygen is more electronegative, then it becomes O minus. CH3, CHO minus CH2, C double bond O, CH3. So this thing remains the same. Okay, this thing remains the same, but here it forms the new CC bond. So all the reactions are the best familiar to form the new CC bonds, to form the new CC bonds. Now, however, in third step, it is the third step. Okay, so in third step here, protonation takes place. Protonation means we will take the diluted KOH. That means KOH pellets dissolved in water. That means here based having the water moiety. Water moiety that means here H plus OH minus are there. Now our O minus will abstract the proton. Then it becomes OH. Okay. 
okay now it is nothing but uh, beta hydroxy carbonyl compound beta hydroxy carbonyl compound in beta hydroxy carbonyl compound we supplied some heat uh, the, then here beta alpha beta water dehydration takes place that means it forms the ch3 ch double bond ch c double bond o ch3 okay this is nothing but alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound okay now here so alpha alpha position hydrogen beta position hydroxide both removed as water moiety that means it is condensation step it means condensation step in the with the help of these four steps we will write the cross dalder products very easier now we will discussed about a trick in next lecture about the cross dolder products okay now let us explain the mechanism again once more now here so in case uh, one uh, one ketone one aldehyde is there with uh, with the help of a diluted koh it gives the cross dolder reaction that means here two types of carbonyl compounds are there okay now in case of two types of carbonyl compounds so one is ketone another one is aldehyde so aldehydes are the best acceptor best, best carbon ion acceptor that means it is electrophilic center when compared to uh, ketones okay now here the best uh, best carbon ion acceptor that means here the best source of carbon ion formation okay now in case of ketones will treat it with diluted koh then it forms the uh, carbon ion with loss of one alpha hydrogen one alpha hydrogen that carbon ion will undergoes the nucleophilic addition with the with uh, uh, aldehyde with aldehyde electrophilic center then it forms the corresponding oxy anion corresponding oxy anion now here this oxy anion will formed due to the nucleophilic attack over the electrophilic center so carbon having the four bonds whenever it nucleophile attack over the carbon here five bonds one two three four for incoming one is fifth one so carbon does not bear by the more than four valency that's why here one of the weak bonds will shift towards the more electronegativity atom side now here more electronegativity is oxygen then it becomes o minus then it becomes o minus that o minus <coughs> which is nothing but oxy anion sorry now this o minus will abstract the proton with with a <coughs> diluted koh then it forms the beta hydroxy carbonyl compound now here it is alpha it is <coughs> beta beta hydroxy carbonyl compound now here alpha beta condensation reaction takes place that means here alpha beta dehydration takes place so whenever we supply the some heat here water elimination takes place then it forms the double bond so this water reaction is condensation reaction with the help of these four steps these four mechanical pathways now we will write the cross dolder products very easier okay so this is the cross dolder products in uh, in next lecture we will discuss about uh, how many types of cross dolder products are there how many types of cross dolder reactions will occurs with the help of diluted koh how which type each and every type it gives how many types of uh, products okay now uh, this is the cross dolder condensation okay thank you for watching